But I do remember this. I remember my documentary on ExxonMobil. I remember learning a great deal about carbon capture Nor and was that sequestration. The one? No. <laughs> this house of cards. And I mention all of this because yesterday, ExxonMobil announced an interesting, uh, interesting transaction with CF Industries, uh, where they are going to be acting as uh, the uh, unit that captures the carbon and sequestrates it for CF. Uh, as much as two million tons a year of carbon. I had a chance to sit down with Dan Ammon. He's the uh, the, the head of uh, low carbon solutions at ExxonMobil. When we did the this documentary, it had been a guy Denver. named Joe, uh, Joe Blomart. This is different from buying a company. Correct. This is Very Exxon coming in and saying, hey, we can do your carbon capture for you, and this is going to be additive for us and for you. Mr. Ammon explained it. Take a listen. We're taking two million tons a year of carbon dioxide emissions out of CF's uh, facility in Louisiana. Uh, we're capturing that so it doesn't go into the atmosphere, and then we're transporting it and storing it permanently uh, in geologic storage. And so that, that is a huge reduction in emissions. Uh, it's equivalent uh, to about changing about 700,000 gas-powered cars into EVs. And that's about how many EVs have been sold year to date in the United States. So out of one project, one facility, we're having that kind of emissions impact. Is this the first sign of low carbon solutions becoming sort of a, a profit making part of the company uh, with an actual return on the capital that you guys are investing? Yeah, exactly. This is the first time that we're taking uh, all of the capabilities that exist inside of ExxonMobil and taking those to help a uh, third-party company to decarbonize their operations. Uh, and it is the first revenue uh, on contract for our new low-carbon business, so it's, uh, it's an exciting day for us. Of course, that's one of the key questions is, you know, is low-carbon solutions really going to actually be able to have a return? Remember, they're spending $15 billion or uh, $15 billion through 2027 is what the capital spending that Exxon is using towards low carbon uh, solutions run by Mr. Ammon used to, of course, run the cruise division at GM, people may recall. Um, he and he believes, there. say again, he was let go. there. Yeah, uh, he believes and I'll let him say it, that they are on the right track. Take a listen. This project, uh, I think, acts as confirmation to us that we're on the right track, uh, that this opportunity represents a, a, a huge growth potential uh, for the company and, and for the industry, uh, and it's a business that can generate good returns. This seems to be sort of a, uh, you know, is this going to be one of in a series of, of separate transactions involving companies that want carbon sequestration services? Yeah, absolutely. We have a very big backlog of similar kind of projects that we're working on. Uh, we've seen interest in the space really pick up, uh, even just in the short time that, uh, that I've been with the company. Uh, the passage of the Inflation Reduction Act has acted as a, a further catalyst. Uh, and we're seeing interest from companies across a whole range of industries. you have any questions about carbon capture or anything else? We did a documentary. No, but that was unbelievable. That it's interview. on Peacock. It's no, no. still as relevant well, today as it was uh, when we uh, aired it well, in June. Well, they want to buy Denbury because Denbury's got great I asked capture. him about Denbury. Thank you, yeah. you, Jim. You're always on it. I asked him about Denbury. There was a rumor, rumored report earlier, that, oh, I should say, a report earlier this week that Exxon was interested in Denbury. It's got the largest uh, pipeline right. network of CO2 cap, uh, of and uh, he would not comment on that. But he did say they are going to continue to obviously invest because it's not just sequestering the carbon, or excuse me, capturing it and then sequestering it. You've got to transport it. Uh, and you need a transport network. In this case, they're using Enlink. Uh, it's another third party company. Yes. But it does lend credence, at least, to the idea that a Denbury would be of interest to Exxon.